everyone, Mr. Merkic here, and just before this video starts, I just want to tell you again about Crunchy. Uh, it's a new forum site which I created, and it basically contains a lot of different stuff that people do on the internet on a daily basis. Um, so I'm pretty certain if you're here watching the Skype tool tutorials, then I'm pretty certain that you'll enjoy some of the content within this site. Uh, all I ask is you go over to Crunchy and sign up and maybe start contributing to the community as well along with the other people that already are uh, there's a lot of stuff on the site now, um, it's pretty full um, pretty active community on here so if you do want to come over um, I'd appreciate that very much and without any further ado let's get on with the video so as from the title you'll know that this is a auto call acceptor now personally I don't really have a use for it but some people might, so I guess I'll show you anyway, and I guess you'll learn more about the Skype API at the same time. Um, so what we want to do is make a new checkbox here called Auto Answer. Uh, and again, I'm, if you can hear my new, I've got a new keyboard now, so you may be able to hear it. This is the first video I'm doing, so if you can, I'm sorry, but I'll try to sort that out while editing. Uh, so what we want to do is come into the code here and create a new sub. Now this sub we're going to uh, let's just make it a private sub and we'll call that auto answer and it needs two parameters so similar to our auto friend acceptor it's going to be similar to that kind of uh, except this time we want the call so we can call that t call as skype for com lib dot uh, we actually need these uh, squared brackets here and we need, we need to put call inside like so uh, and if we put a comma here and we need the status so t status as skype for com lib dot t call status and this sub is going to handle uh, skype one dot call status like that um, so hopefully you've got this far well, we're basically creating two parameters, one for the call and one for the call status and that's what we're going to use to determine the sort of call that we're getting. So inside here uh, the main if statement we want is our checkbox because we want to check if people uh, want the call to be auto accepted so it's checkbox2 so let me just remove that if checkbox checked. Uh, is equal to true then we'll do the code else we don't really want to do nothing so do nothing here so inside if it's checked what we want to say is if the t call dot type so we want to get the type of the call if it's equal to an incoming uh, peer to peer like so or if it's the other type um, so t call dot type apparently there's two types of calls within Skype I actually don't know what this other version is uh, so if someone could let me know what PSTN is that would be nice so we want to check if the two type of calls are incoming and then inside here we can say if C status is equal to uh, ringing so we want to check if the calls actually ringing then we can answer it so what we do is T call dot answer so basically what that's going to do is check for an incoming call uh, and then if there is an incoming call it's just going to check if it's ringing but it should already be ringing if there's an incoming call but just to be sure uh, then it's going to answer it uh, and that's pretty much it and obviously it's only going to do this if the user wants it to um, that that would be the basics of it but I'll show you how to do something else as well um, so obviously if you're in a call and you get another call you don't want it to answer that one because it'll put the other one on hold or or you can actually do that you can put them on hold with the code yourself but I won't be showing you how to do that so we want to create a new if statement and we want to say if the status of the call is equal to in progress uh, once that's in progress if we're getting an incoming call so if we just copy this line to save us a bit of time like that so if we're getting an incoming call while a call is in progress we obviously want to deny it uh, but f all, what we can do is we can say skype.send message and we can send the message to the 
well, we can actually get some information about our partner within the call. So the way we do that is we say tcall dot partner, and uh, there's also participants if you're in like a group one, but uh, you can get their number and stuff like that. But we'll get their handle. That's what we want for this. So we can say tcall dot partner handle. We can send them the message saying I I'm already in a call. Uh, please later or something like that and you can also just underneath that say t call dot finish so that will just end the incoming call like like so uh, there's also things you can do to display the person that's calling within the tool um, and then I guess you could have like a blacklist who you don't want to call you if you really wanted to go into detail and like actually create something pretty huge here but yeah, nevertheless, that's the end of the video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can put this to some use. I personally don't really have a use for it, but uh, it's it's useful for if you want to create something to do with calling. Um, you can also do many things with this if you've got the imagination, like I said, with the ban lists and things. Um, so that's really it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and also, I hope you go and join Crunchy. The site will be in the description. So that's it. Please leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time.